We are welcome. Welcome to the live today. Okay, let me get these glasses straight. I am running late. Got ready to start and seeing I didn't have some of my ingredients. So I had to run to the store. So let's get, get ready and get started. Get myself together. Hold on a second. I'll be right back with you. Let me set pre uh, preheat this oven. Okay, I'll be right back with you. I am all, all behind, but that's all right, too. That's all right. We'll do it because we weren't together Tuesday, so we're going to have a little time together today. Let me go find this on YouTube so I can see what you all are saying. And who's here? Hey, Denise, welcome to the live. Nancy West, hi, welcome to the live. What, Raven, hi, welcome to the live. Good afternoon, family. Miss everyone so much. Lord, I not skip to another live. Oh, <laughs> miss everyone so much. Can't wait to see this recipe. I love you all. I, we love you too, baby. Welcome on in. Okay, I make sure it look right. Everything's right. Can you hear me all right? Put this up a little more. There, there, there. We are going to be making old-fashioned cabbage casserole today. That's what's on it. I haven't even cut up my cabbage, y'all. But well, we getting ready to do it. Okay, let me give everyone a hug. Oh, love you all. So glad you're here. Um, Victoria's Queen, yes, yes, yes. Y'all just come on in. Let me run in here right quick and get the dish that I'm going to put it in. Hold on. We haven't cooked in this little baby in a while, so we gonna bring her out today. Hey, Angela, welcome to the live. How you doing, sweetheart? Welcome, welcome. We gonna go ahead and say a word of prayer right quick so we can get started. Cause like I told you, I didn't have nothing together. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's going to be all right. All right. All right. Yes, it is. It's going to be all right. Okay. Let's touch and agree and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come into your presence today with thanksgiving and praise. Lord, we give you, we'll be careful to give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise for it all belongs to you. We love you, Father God, and we bless your holy and divine name. I pray for everyone who's in this live today, those who are coming, Lord, those who want to be here but couldn't be here for some unforeseen reason. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. Lord, be with us in our trials and tribulations, our ups and our downs. Bring us through. Take care of our health situation, our family problems, Lord, or whatever problems we may have. Lord, I pray for those who are suicidal today, that you would touch someone, that you would stop someone right now in the midst of them wanting to commit suicide. I pray for those who have anxiety and depression. I pray for all bereaved families, Lord. Hold them in your tender, loving care. Give them the strength to make it through another day's journey. Lord, we'll be careful to give you all the glory and the praise for it all belongs to you. And Lord, I just thank you. I thank you. Thank you, I 
thank you. Hallelujah is the highest praise. And we say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, as I fix at this dish, I ask that you will bless my hands, that you will bless it, that it will be decent and in order. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And thank you, Jesus. Amen. And thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay. Uh, Raven said, speaking to Angela, hi, Joshua. Welcome to the live. Glad you're here. Sandra made it. Yes. Thank you, Sandra. LSP, my daughter from another mother. Girl, LSP. LSP. I slept last night. To God be the glory. I woke up this morning at 8.30, didn't know where I was at. I woke up at 5.30 and had to go to the bathroom. And I thought then, I said, because I slept all night. And that's not me, but it's God. And then... When I went back to the bed at 5.30, I went back to sleep and slept at 8.30. I feel so different today. So, so different. I needed that sleep. Y'all, because I've been running on just a couple of hours sleep if I got that much. Just tossing and turning, tossing and turning. But God brought me through. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And I thank him. I'm sorry I was late. I got ready to get the stuff together to make this dish and didn't have some of the things, but that's all right. We got it now. We weren't together Tuesday, so we can spend a little more time together today, okay? Okay. Uh, Y'all can see I'm hype. <laughs> I got sleep. I'm hype. Okay. Hey, Rochelle, step into Lee's Leaps podcast is here. And y'all know that's our sergeant at arm, Rochelle. She's in the house. Uh, hello, Ma, and everyone in the chat. Hey, Rochelle. Rochelle speaking. Uh, hey, Sandy Re Recure. I probably done boogered up your name, baby. Love that you begin with prayer for he is what he's worthy of all the praise, the glory, and the honor, and the praise. When I when he opens my eyes in the morning, the first thing I say is thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Y'all better give him the glory and the praise. Woo, this child fired up today. <laughs> okay. Um LSP said, we bless God and thank him for grace. To God be the glory. Girl, LSP, I saw it came through my um, YouTube page, homepage. Your live the other day, you had 200 views. I said, look at my daughter. Look at my daughter. Look. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. And you're doing that. Good things come to those. Uh, hey, Nancy West, not late. We will wait. Okay, Victoria's Queen. Amen. You needed that extra sleep. I sure did. Uh, LSP said, Hi. Yeah, I am hyped today, y'all. And, and well, I, I ain't going to give Satan no glory. I'm going to leave it right there. I was getting ready to say something, but nah, I ain't giving him no glory. Okay, hyped on rest. How I would, yes, that, re that rest made a difference. <laughs> It made a difference. Uh, Angela said, putting up groceries and listening. Nancy uh, speaking to God be the glory. Okay. Mods, y'all need to do your job because Beverly is running behind today. Didn't I was going to, I wanted to have the cabbage cut and the onions cut and everything ready and go, but didn't do it. So we got to do it now right quick, but it won't take long. It won't take long. Let me get this recipe that I have saved because I don't want to booger it up. And you know I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Okay. This cabbage casserole. This is an old-fashioned recipe, y'all. A very old-fashioned recipe. And it's very simple, but yet oh so good. You will need one small cabbage, one small cabbage cut up, one Valdea onion be good, but whatever onion you got will be just fine. I got a white onion today, so that'll be fine. One can of cream of chicken soup, one cup of mayonnaise, 
a half a stick of unsalted butter, and this is gonna go in the soup mixture. And you're gonna use a half a stick here, but you need some more butter. One cup of cheddar cheese, shredded. One sleeve of Ritz crackers crushed, which I did not have the cream of chicken soup or the Ritz crackers, and I had to run to the store to get that, but I got it now. Your cooking spray for the pan, of course. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees, which I have mine rocking now. Oh, she's there. Okay, she done made it. So, we're going to go ahead. What I need? I need to go get my cutting board. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna use this little bitty one. Let me bring y'all over here. Let me see which way would be best. Y'all can see what I'm doing right there. Yeah, y'all can see. Let me get my knife. Here is my cabbage. I got one small cabbage. Do I need more light on in here? Okay, that's better. Yeah, okay. Get my thoughts together. Come on now, Beverly. Come on, come on, come on. Let me get a bowl up here. We're going to cut off the ends of this cabbage and clean her up. Got my one onion. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut this cabbage in little pieces. And what you need to do, let me get my spray. We're gonna spray the dish.
I need to go ahead and melt my butter. Okay, preheat oven and prepare baking dish. Pre preheat your oven, <clears throat> your oven to 350. Spray a baking dish with cooking spray to prevent sticking. Layer cabbage and onion. Place the chopped cabbage at the bottom of a prepared baking dish. Layer the chopped onion on top of the cabbage. Then we'll create our little soup mixture, which will be in a bowl. Mix together the cream of chicken soup, the cup of mayonnaise, and a half a, half a stick of melted butter. So, Rashad, let me let him know I'm live. Half a stick of butter, I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Let me show you. Let me show you what my, I don't know how I showed y'all what my microwave is, but I'm gonna show you. Here's my microwave. Then we're gonna close it. I'm gonna hit it for 30 seconds. Watch it, because I don't want it popping in the air. It's all right. She coming along. Yes, she is. Three, two, one. Okay, let's open it up. Yep, that's melted enough. Okay, let's take that out. We're going to close her back up. Okay. We'll get back over here to what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and I'll need another, another whole stick for um, the cream of chicken mixture. I'm going to put that in while I'm cutting up the cabbage. Okay. Let's cut this cabbage up into pieces so we can layer her on this pan. Bring you over a little bit closer. Okay. You can cut it up any way you want to. Let me see how it's melted. Hold on. I'm give it another 30 seconds for that one. Okay. I didn't need the bowl, man. I can just go ahead and put it in here.
Okay, we'll put this in here. Now you can cut yours up a little finer if you want to, however you want to cut it up. We have the cabbage in the pan. Now I'm going to put the onion and slice it up and put it on top. Once I get in the oven, we can chit chat, okay? Okie dokie. Now the onion is on top. Next we're gonna, okay, pop, chop down and we done that. We're gonna mix the cream of chicken soup in a bowl. Mix together the soup, a cup of mayonnaise, the stick, the half a stick of melted butter. Cream of chicken soup, wipe the top off. Y'all wipe them lids so you won't have those germs. I'm getting every bit of it out of here. <laughs> is there any other kind right Angela this is it oops Okay. 
Now you can use any mayonnaise that you like. It don't have to be dukes. I just like, my family just likes dukes. And I bowl, mix together the cream of chicken soup, mayonnaise, a half a stick of melted butter until well combined. Spoon and spread this mixture evenly over the onions and the cabbage. Okay. Mix it up evenly. The sink is collecting everything. Okay. Now let's put this on top. Wiping them edges off. Now we got that done. Let me get the stick of uh, butter out. And another bowl combined the one stick of melted butter, a cup of shredded um, cheese, and the crushed crackers. Ritz crackers. One sleeve of Ritz crackers.
other cheese I have. I forgot we made pasta salad Sunday and we used all the cheese. I did not get cheese when I went to the store. Let me make sure it's not hidden somewhere in here. Thank you, Lord, I found some. Because cheese and butter we normally keep. And I said, oh, Lord. Pour the butter in here. Crush up these crackers and put them in here. We'll mix this together and we'll put it on the top. This was one cup of shredded cheese, one cup of mayonnaise, and one stick of melted butter, unsalted.
Now, for me to read the instructions properly. Crush, mix well to ensure the crackers are fully coated with the butter and the cheese. Spread this on top of the, of the uh, soup mixture. Bake for 45 minutes or until the topping is golden brown and the casserole is bubbly. Serve, um, it says, allow the casserole to cool slightly before serving. This dish is perfect on its own as a hearty side or your main course. Okie dokie. Now, we're going to put this on top. Put this butter and mayonnaise back in the refrigerator. Gabby to the floor. Okay. Here it is. It is ready to go in the oven. Set my timer for 45 minutes. There she goes. Okay, now I can come back and see what everybody's saying. Let me sit down over here. Okay. Let me go back up. See if I can get caught up. Nancy Webb Sandra is hard to miss your best friend. Glad he's coming home. Um, thank you, Nancy. LSB, he's so sweet. Hey, sweet and juicy. Uh, hey, Miss Beverly, LSP, Lisa, she's here. Angela, Sandra, Nancy, Raven, Vernell, if you're here. Okay, everybody's speaking. Sandra said that microwave is cool. Yes, it is. That was another one of my perks for this house. Uh, the kitchen, the appliances are um, top quality. They GE. Uh, I don't forget there. Anyway, it's the top of the line for the GE appliances. And 
I love it. I love it. Uh, I love ca I love cabbage too, any kind of way. LSBD. If it's an old recipe, the sleeve of the Ritz crackers was bigger. Had a problem with that in a recipe recently. Okay. Hey, Ashley, welcome to the live. Ashley says hi to everyone. Vernell, hey, hey, Vernell, welcome to the live. Um, Vernell says she's doing well. Angela, Vernell. Angela, I'm, I'm making a big salad. Anybody want one? Yeah, I want to come over. Y'all yeah, don't want to see that TV. I'm going to come over and get some salad. That would be good. Angela saying, hello, Ashley. I'm sorry I didn't say hi. Hey, Lisa Carter, welcome to the live. How you doing? Uh, a big salad choke for Hey, sister. Ashley is speaking. Sandra, have you seen any advertising about sure of the Ten Commandments? will be shown this weekend i'm watch i've watched it almost every year since a child i love it they should be showing that this weekend you would think they would um nancy speaking hey donna welcome to the live i wish you'll show how you are cutting your onions and cat oh y'all can see how i was cutting i was just cutting it I did it halfway, then I took the knife and just made cut. You can cut it however, you can cut it in little small pieces, big pieces, however you want. It's just up to you. And the onion, I cut it in half, then just diced it in little pieces. Um. Hey, B. Roulette, welcome to the live. Oh, I love your recipes, Beverly. Sorry, haven't been watching lately. Been really busy. I always miss you when uh, always miss you when I can't watch. Oh, thank you. I'm back. I'm back. Um, G Cafe, thank you. <laughs> See, Ashley and LSP, they got me. They got me. Thank you. G E Cafe Appliances. That's what they are. And if y'all are looking for new appliances in your kitchen, please look into them. My dishwasher, my stove, my refrigerator, and my microwave is GE Cafe Appliances. And they are awesome. I highly, highly recommend them. Uh, Mrs. Carter, and I have a cabbage. No, yes. I'm going to get a recipe again in a minute. Uh, Brunel said, hey, Miss Beverly, how are you? How, how was your... My trip was good. My trip was good. I needed that. And on the way there, we stopped by at Jimmy's Grave. And, oh, that was... I needed that. Because Friday was... Last Friday was four months for his death. And I was wondering why I was having such a horrible time Thursday. I wasn't thinking about it Thursday. That's what was going on. But uh, Thursday night, I think I realized what was going on. But it was bad, y'all. It was very, very bad. But to God be the glory, he brought me through. Um, Nancy, I cut the cabbage off the core, then plant the core. At least get some more leaves growing. Oh, okay. That's smart. Y'all hear that? She plants the core. I didn't know you could plant the core. Okay, let me go back over here and give y'all this recipe again. And what you will need is one small onion chopped, chopped however you want to chop it, chop it. It's, it's, it says one Valdea onion, but you can use whatever onion you have. If you don't have a Valdea, just use your regular onion. I used a white onion today. One can of cream of chicken soup. One cup of mayonnaise. Whatever I use Duke, but whatever mayonnaise that you like, that's what you use. One cup of tr sh shredded cheese. Uh, one sleeve of Ritz crackers, crushed. 
Did I say the one stick of, you use one stick of unsalted uh, butter, you melt that, that's for the soup mixture. Then you have another whole stick of butter melted that you put in that topping. And the topping is uh, the sleeve of the crackers, the Ritz crackers, a cup of the cheese, and that cup, uh, I mean, one stick of melted butter. Unsalted, unsalted. Never use salted butter unless your recipe calls state salted butter. Other than that, always, always use unsalted butter. So that's, that's the recipe. That's the recipe. Let me go back. Doing those times that makes you happy. Yes, it does. I needed that little trip last week. I really, really did. But everything worked out really good. So I thank the Lord. Uh, I basically got back all my money that I went with. So I, I didn't lose any. So that, that part's good. But every machine I sat on, when I sat there, first time I hit it, like, bang, 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 I was winning. First time. That was Jimmy. <laughs> that was Jimmy. He, he was hitting the machines for me. He said, let me let my baby hit these machines. Yes, he did. Hey, tell y'all hello. Welcome to the live. J Jimmy. <laughs> yes. Jimmy and Bentley. Miss my buddies. Miss my buddies. Elephant Rock. Cheryl, welcome to the live. Hey, how you doing? Welcome there. Joanne and Nancy, Wes, and everybody's here. Okay, we're going to chit-chat now. How long we been on? 48 minutes, okay. We got 35, 36 minutes left. The timer is saying on it, so we're going to go with it. But let me tell y'all this. Let, let, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Last night, um, I have really not been going to um, the studio and... Um, checking up with my analytics and doing like I was supposed to the way I used to before Jimmy got sick and passed. I was, you know, I put up videos, but I put them up on my phone. I didn't do the description. I didn't put up cards. I didn't do end scream. I didn't do none of that. I just put it up and was done with it. So last night I decided, I said, well, I'm going to start back doing everything decent and in order the right way, the proper way. And I, cause I have been speaking and decreeing that I would have another video with over a million views. And you all know that pineapple cake recipe that I have that has a million point four or five um, views. Jimmy was the one that told me to make that cake, that Paula Dean um, cake, that pineapple cake that I would have never made it if Jimmy hadn't told me. He, he sent me the recipe and everything. So he said, this will be because he loved, he loved pineapple. So that's why he wanted the cake. But anyway, that cake, that recipe has been my blessing, has been my blessing. And I'm going to share this with y'all. Uh, that recipe is, is two years old. And once, once it start popping, it was over a year old before it started popping. That's why content creators don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. <clears throat> when you think nothing's going to happen, that's when it blows up on you. When you at your, sometime when you're, not all the time when you're at your lowest, but sometime you get a drink of water. That one video, that one video, I'm going to share it with you. Because everybody, well, some, some, some content creators do and some don't. Keep you motivated. Give you reasons to be motivated. The one video, 
with over a million views, a million point five views, or four, a million point four, I think it is. I've made 25000 from $25,000 I have made from that one video. What you waiting on? Get to moving, get to moving, get to moving. The ones that you think ain't, won't do nothing. So I have been speaking and decreeing that most, I thank God for the one that I do have this over a million views and how he has blessed me with it. Make sure you always give God the glory, the honor, and the praise because we cannot do nothing without him. He the one that leads us and directs us and show us the way and open up things for us. Why my uh, lemon dump cake, lemon cream cheese dump cake is at over 700,000 views. I did not know it. I did not know it. Because I wasn't playing my, and I wasn't really getting into my analytics like I should. When I seen that last night, I go, when did this video get all these views? Well, I knew I had been blessed and highly favored during this ordeal time that my checks have been about the same, and if not even more. And I wasn't clicking in my head where the monies was coming from. I wasn't even researching to see what videos was blessing me with these monies like this. But it was that lemon cream cheese pound, I mean that lemon cream cheese dump cake that I had didn't even notice it until this morning. Uh, last night, I'm sorry. Like uh, my Aldi short, because you know, I was thinking, well, all my shorts, they're, they're start, they're start climbing now. They're start, you know, building up. It takes time. It takes time. You got to keep at it. And, you know, when I seen one with 10,000 views, I thought that was, you know, I was doing good and four and 5,000. Why the Aldi's for that crab ball was 25,000 views? 25,000 views. And I have gotten 15,000 subscribers from that one video. That's what, shorts don't pay no money. They don't pay no money. You be l lucky to get two and three dollars, four and five. I think I have one that I made $12 off of and that shocked me. But anyway, shorts don't pay any money, but it brings in the subscribers. So they were watching and that brings up your views. So. Those things fall together. They fall together. So I wanted to give those little nuggets to my content creators in here to keep you inspired. Don't give up. Just keep on fighting the, the, the good fight because your payday is coming. Your, I never thought that um, that recipe that from Paula Dean, the Lord has blessed me to have more views on that, recipe, on that recipe than Paula Dean has. I have probably about triple more than what she has for, her own, for the recipe that she put out. Look at God. You don't know how he going to come and how he going to bless you and which way he's going to bless you. But you got to keep your faith and your trust in him. You got to keep striving. You got to keep at it. Every day you got to uh, do something. You can always put up a little short from a reel that, I mean, from a, I'm sorry, from a video or a live that you already have. You can do a reel that is the same thing as a short. You can put that up. You can take out a piece of that every day. So what if you don't get but five views? So what? If you don't get but 20 views, you will look up sometimes on them shorts like that. All these, um, the one that I have that had the 25,000 views, it didn't hit until months later. 
So you never give up. What you think is not going to do something will be the one to do it. And what you think going to do something, don't do nothing. It just sits there. But you know, it's still, you got to have that evergreen, evergreen, evergreen. And evergreen is something that people are looking for. Just because uh, we like to do certain things, um, doesn't mean that it's going to, it's not evergreen, not things that we personally like to do. Um, for an example, like on my reviews, they're not evergreen, unless people are looking for a certain thing. Now, my Nordic wear, my bump pants, mm -hmm, yeah, they like that. If they're looking for certain things, but to say um, LSP's, sent me one of her t-shirts, which she did bless me with. And I did a video on that. Now, we know what it is. We know LSP. So that will click for us, the ones in this, you know, in this group that we know each other. But to say uh, Jane Doe that lives in Mississippi, is not gonna put in the search, oh, I don't need to see what LSP sent Beverly Black. Uh-uh, it ain't happening. They could care less. They're looking for recipes. They're looking for financial things, financial gain, um, quick way to make money, stuff like that. That's what they're, what they're looking. They love clothing. Um, things that you know yourself, yourself that you would be searching for on YouTube. Those are the kind of videos that they are looking. And, and food, video, food videos are not up there now like, like they used to. And, and our big thing right now is those uh, content creators who are, oh, I forgot the name. It slipped my mind that quick. Reaction. And it's not the reaction to the singing no more. Ain't nobody caring about that no more. This day and time that went away where people were getting thousands and thousands of views from reaction from the, you know, where you show your reaction to somebody singing a song, but then a lot of times you got copyrighted for that. So they got part of your money and you got part of your money. So like on my Sunday services from church, I get copyrighted on a lot of the songs that the praise team sing. But I leave it there for about a week when I get copyrighted. I leave it there for a week so people who want to come back and listen to the uh, sermon on Sunday can hear all the songs. Then I take them out. I have, them I have YouTube to take it out because they ask you what you want to do. If you want to switch it with something else or you want to take out this. And, and most of the time I take it out because I'm sharing my revenue with the people who wrote that song. So I just have it taken out. So you got to be careful about the reactions they're doing there as to other content creators. Um, for some reason, what's the name? Peach McIntyre is a hit for them. And that guy, that Atlanta uh, street guy that interviewing the homeless people in the street. But they both different. They both got garbage they're carrying. I'm going to say it just like that. They both got garbage that they are carrying that people are intrigued with. And that's what's hitting right now. But uh, both of them need prayer. They really need prayer because they have their own angle going two different ways. But Lord have mercy. That's all I can say about that. Lord have mercy. Okay. Uh, Sandra said, Paula Dean has uh, got nothing on you. Thank you, Sandra. You're so sweet. You are so sweet. Uh, Bernal said, that's why Mr. Jimmy told you to keep doing your YouTube. He blessed it for you and it worked for you. Yes, it is. Yeah, he knew. And that video, we both sat and watched how the views were increasing uh, when it first start bouncing and hitting and getting thousand, thousand and thousand of, we watched it. I mean, we just literally looked at it 
happening before our eyes. I could not believe it because I never seen nothing like that before. You know, every time I checked the analytics, it was up so high, but that was nobody but God. That was nobody but God. We all have our season and our time. Don't be jealous, nobody. Don't be wondering why so-and-so is doing so good and I'm working hard. And your, your harvest is coming. Your harvest is coming. Don't give up. Be faithful. Well, you know, God said, if you be faithful over a few things, if you be faithful over a few things, if you be faithful over a few things, he will bless you with more. It's, it's how you do it. And are you a blessing to somebody else? Do you bless others? Or are you just looking for what you want to get and forget about, about your neighbor? Forget about uh, that homeless person. Forget about that person who needs food or, or needs some um, clothes to put on, on, your, on their back. You got a closet full of clothes. You're going through it. And you're going to have a rummage sale. You're trying to get every dollar that you can rather than to bless. You don't realize that your blessings come more from you giving those things than you worrying about selling, even though you still have the price tag still on some of those clothes. Bless somebody with that clothes. Why would you want to give them nasty clothes anyway? Clothes that you... <laughs> that left... <laughs> Ain't even washed. And, and you want to give them to somebody. When you want to bless somebody with some clothes, make sure they're clean and in proper, in proper order. In proper order, okay? Ooh, like, uh, let's see. My sister-in-law is a friend with Paula Dane, Angela. Ooh. Vernell, yes, because they, they sung on something, didn't they? They, oh, they sound, oh, I wish y'all could have been in that church with, it was good. And pastor preached Sunday. He brought the word. I know I needed it. I don't know about nobody else, but I know I needed it. And it blessed my soul. Uh, Angela said, it has been a blessing, uh, Beverly. Ashley say they make the money, but the background on what they really have going on is hard. It's isn't it, Ash? It is terrible. It is unbelievable. And you don't have to get on here and do all that cussing, all that profanity. You're going you gonna to think you are like a motivation speaker or somebody going to um, help somebody with their life, but yet you're going to cuss them all out and call them B words. How is that motivating? You are at an all-time low. When you got to sit and listen to somebody who call you the B word and other names and got to cuss you out the whole time they are talking to you to motivate you and you paying that person. Something wrong with that picture. Something wrong with that picture. Now, I can understand motivation, motivational people being strict, straightforward. I mean, being honest, telling it just like it is. But you don't have to cuss me out to do it. You don't have to use all that profanity to do it. I understand that the English language enough that I don't have to hear cuss words to be strengthened. Cuss words don't strengthen me, but some people it does. And a lot of these little young girls who are having a hard time and got three or four kids and all got different dad, uh baby daddies, as they say, my baby daddy, and living still in the project and, and wanting, and they wanting something better for their life, but they're reaching out at the wrong person at the wrong, the wrong way. They need to be reaching to God. They need to be reaching up to him. He don't cuss you out. He don't call you all kind of words to get you motivated. That ain't no motivation. It isn't for me. That don't. That just makes me sick, and I don't want to talk to you no more. And GD this and G. What, what did God do to you that you want to damn him? What? 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 I just don't understand this. But we need to pray. Pray for these young people because their mindset, their mindset is just gone. They see that dollar sign. They want instant 
instant money, instant pleasure, but a lot of things you got to work for. A lot of things why you don't have it because God sees that you can't handle what you got now, so why am I going to give you more? Okay? Why is God going to give you more and you, you're not even handling what, what you got right now? You sitting here asking me for a thousand dollars, and you're negative in your in your bank account. The little money I did bless you with, you done misused it and and did everything else with. And here you asking me to bail you out for something you did to yourself. Now think about it. Does that make sense? What sense does that make? Or am I the only one that you know? That don't make no sense to me. But everybody's on this get rich quick scheme and they think, you know, I've been harping about this for the longest. You got to seek God and you got to go before him in the right way. Not gimme, 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 gimme all the time. Because your blessing, can't nobody take your blessing. What God has for you is for you. I can't take it. I can't take it. Um, Rochelle can't take it. Ashley can't get, take it. Sandra can't take it. Can't none of us take what God has for you because what is for you is for you. Now you can stop how quickly you receive it by what you do and your actions. But I can't take it away. You can't take my faith. You can't take mine. You don't know what I did, what I went through to get where I am now. You don't know my, my whole story. You know some of it, but you don't know it all. I don't know your story. We all got a story. We all got to go through something. We, meet, we need mentors. The young people, the young girls especially, they need mentors, but they need good mentors. Not somebody cussing them out in every breath, then you wonder why your child get in front of you, embarrass you when you're out, and they be cussing. And they'll stop, they'll slip and say a cuss word. Because that's what they done heard at home. That's all they hear. So they gonna react to what they are hearing. Don't act like you shocked. No. They got it from you. <laughs> they are doing what they see you do. So if you want your child to do better, you got to do better. You got to live the life right in front of your child. And, I, and some people, I know that, then she can go on this God thing, this God thing. Yeah, that's the only way. You can run, but you can't hide. You can try these generational curses. We got to speak, decree, and declare them over our family, over our children, over our grandchildren. We got to... We got to cast them things down. These generational curses are killing our children. Because we don't speak life into their life. We got to speak life into their life. And you got to speak over them every day. You got to speak, decree, and declare. And not for a million dollars. You want your children to be, be successful, to be happy, to be joyous, to be forgiving, to be loving, to be, be blessed with good mates, uh, to have a good life. You want your child's life to be better than your life. Those are the things you need to be speaking and decreeing. Let me go back and see what you say. Sandra, do you think they do the cussing for shock? Yeah, I think I think they do it for shock. And I, I and then they do it because they think it makes them look good. Look good. You know, the whole com I mean, they can't talk without saying cuss words. Everything. And I would, I mean, I can't have a conversation with you when you when you get through cussing, you know, we can talk. But if, if every other word gotta be a cuss word, no. Nah. But that shows how that person was brought up. And that's, and that's a curse. Speak over that curse. Put that 
curse down. Let it, I mean, let it go back to the pits of hell where it came from. Because that's, that's what we need to be doing. We need to be casting down these strongholds. Let our children go. Like, let our people go. Let our children go. They are our future. And, but children are taking care of households. Children out here selling drugs while the... Their mama and daddy laid up in, in the apartment high and, the, and the, cat, the child is out hitting the street selling drugs to pay the light bill and the cable bill. The light bill and the cable bill have been in every child's family. <laughs> and you wonder why when you get 18, you can't get no credit because your credit bad. Because mama and them done put everything in your name when you were little. And then when you get older, your credit all jacked up. Your credit is a mess. And we all mess up with credit. I have too. We all, we all do it. You know, I ain't keeping myself out of that because I ain't perfect now. I ain't, I'm far from that. But God has brought me through. I am 72. Y'all know God done brought me through a lot. He done opened my eyes to a lot. He done showed me things a lot. Some things I didn't listen to, and some I did. That's life. We all going to do that. We all make those stupid choices where we think we know more. That what we know is the best way. No. And because I'm old don't mean that I'm all wise neither. All old people are not wise. Some of them are real stupid. Real stupid. And still making stupid choices. But age is supposed to bring wisdom. Wisdom. Not stupidity. Not stupidity. Not sitting right here trying to act like, like you are uh, you 21 again. Here you're a great grandmother. You you dress in more vulgar than than the young, than the teenagers. What sense is this making? I don't know. Oh, I do know, though. Sandra said, I want to say I cannot. Okay, Brene, what God has for you is for you. Remember, your, good, your gift will make room for you. It sure will. You got that right. I would, uh, Angela said, I would have washed my kids' mouth off. If they, what you talking about, Angela? I said, darn, D-A-R-N in front of my daddy one time and he went off he said it sound too much like a cuss word to him and i've been not never speak it again in his presence but one thing i can say i never heard my daddy and mother say a, say a bad word i never i never heard them cuss they weren't perfect people neither but i can say i never heard them cuss never they had their short comments but i never heard them cuss and that's why as I got, you know, I, my friends would be cussing and they'd be, they be cussing so good to be rhyming. <laughs> oh, I would love to be able to talk like that, but I couldn't talk like that because I wasn't used to hearing that kind of talk. So I never was a cusser. But I went through a spell where I tried to cuss, but I never did the GD word. No, that never came out of my mouth because I just, I couldn't, I couldn't say that. But, um... We all have our, our, our little words that we say at times. We're not perfect people. But to sit in every other word coming out of your mouth, M, F, and all them kind of, uh-uh. No. I didn't hear that word until I was an adult. I did not hear that word. But I thank God that the people in our community, where I grew up at, it had its faults. But they were strong men and women. They taught values. We said, Mr., Mrs., Miss. I didn't know grown people had first names for the longest time. I didn't know they had first name. Because you better not call a grown person. Me, uh, walk up and say, Angela? Angela? 
Who's Angela? That's Mrs. Critters to you. And you better not ever call her by her first name again. Angela? Oh, Lord. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I would urinate instantly on myself when my daddy raised his voice. And he had that look in his face. Uh-uh. That's all it took. He didn't have to hit me. It terrified me that much. It terrified me that much because I knew the power behind that voice. And I wasn't messing with that. But these kids, they don't, I mean, they sit and cuss with the parents and they sit and um, have little parties and they teenagers. They all drinking together, smoking together, doing their thing. Lord, Lord, Lord. Uh, Ashley say, that's what it should be about, life. It's a God thing. Yes, it is, Ashley. Sandra, it makes me very upset when I hear my grandchildren swear. And I told my daughter and son-in-law to watch their language when I'm around. Same with my grandchildren. You got to set your boundaries. That's right. Uh, uh, J Joan said, we need to pray for them never before, as never before. Ashley says, yes, I decree and declare all of these things. My children exceed in any place that I may have failed. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Ashley, I feel that. I feel that. We got to speak it over our children. And you are blessed with two blessed children of God who love the Lord, who love going to church, who love praising the Lord, singing to the Lord. That's what you teach her. Now, Ashley, <laughs> she a mama and she ain't an old mama, but she got an old spirit and she don't play. And her children know she don't play. She got to look. Ashley can take anybody's child and they can be bad. And when they with Ashley, completely different. I don't know what that girl does to them children, but she has children mind that their parents can't even get to mind. But that's a gift. That's a blessing. And, and, and that's a person who needs to be over children. My daughter sent me uh, a video, was it last night? And when this, this little old black lady had this daycare and all these babies in there, and she was speaking, I ain't never seen babies be quiet like that. You didn't hear a pin drop. She she commanded them and told them what was going to happen and what, what, what they going to do. I mean, they in high chairs and they were all quiet. They were all, because they knew her voice. Like Jesus said, you know, his own, we know his voice. We know him. And they knew that voice. And they knew that it commanded them to act right. Then they probably went right back with their mama and they acted the fool because mama didn't command them to do anything. But this little lady, she commanded it. She told them what they were going to be doing, what we're going to have for lunch, and it's going to be like this, it's going to be like that. And, I mean, they babies sitting there looking at it. You didn't hear not one of them. It was about ten of them saying a word. You better speak it. Hey, Chilinda Foster. Hi, everybody. One thing I can't stand is when people say GD. I can't neither. Uh, JC, both of them, I cringe when I hear them being said. I do too. I do too. And I used to work with a girl, and every other word she said was GD. And I said, what has God done to you? that you got to damn him all the time. I don't understand. They think it sounds good. It make them look good. It's, you know, but they far from it. Bernard age is supposed to bring wisdom. Sometimes it doing some diamonds don't, depending on if the person wants to change. That's right. I remember what dial soap tastes like 57 years ago. Stuck my tongue out at my mom. Oh, Lord. I bet she did give it to you. Ooh. And when they said that I'll stick a bar of soap in your mouth, they would do it too. Because I remember my, my stepmother, when uh, we used to go back to North Carolina in the summertime to visit my dad and my stepmama. And you know how you... 
Nikki and Jennifer would be doing something. They would be running up and down the step. And I said, you better stop that. You better quit. I'm like, if you don't, I'm going to spank you. And I would say it several times. And Anna finally said, she finally told me. She said, quit saying that to that child. If you're not going to do what you said, don't say it again. If you said it once, you need to do what you said. Quit threatening that child. Because you see, she ain't gonna, they ain't doing it. They ain't paying you no attention because you know they know you ain't going to follow up with nothing. You're not going to follow up with nothing. And that stuck with me. And Anna said, you do what you say and you mean what you say. We throw words out here. We call our children stupid, dumb, you know, they can't learn. They don't understand. If you say that, they are that. They are what you speak. You speak life over my child. Even if your child has a learning disability, you speak life over that child. Don't be saying they stupid, they dumb, they can't learn nothing. That's what they always do, mess up. Always messing up where you done spoken over them. So they're going to always mess up. Uh, let's see. LSP said, put a panhandle on that name. Yes. Nancy, um, once I bet, I never knew first name either. Raised my son to say Mr., Mrs., and Miss. Nancy West. That's right. I didn't know grown people had. I, I told y'all about that, that time I went with daddy. He worked at Turner Lumber Company. He went to get his check. And... Uh, Mr. Turner's son, who was probably in his 20s or late 30s then, he wasn't that old. And um, when Daddy went in to get his check, he was calling him um, by his first name, Alan. And I was looking, I was a child, I was looking around, Alan. I said, oh, he's going to be in trouble. He called my daddy by his first name. He called him Alan. He called him Alan. And Jimmy called him, Jimmy, Lord. Y'all forgive And daddy called him Mr. Turner. Never will forget it. Never. That confused me so bad. He called my daddy by his first name. And my daddy, who is old enough to be his daddy, he called by his first name. And here you are, young enough to be his child or grandchild. And my dad is calling you mister. Now y'all take that in. Take it in. My daddy called him mister. And he called my daddy by his first name. Yeah, that was back when we had the white and colored fountains. We weren't allowed to go in certain places. But I was taught to be respectful to grown people. So in my mind, it didn't matter the color. If they were an adult, we had to be respectful. But that day, it didn't. My timer going off. Let me go look at it, y'all. Let me turn it around. Hold on. Okay, timer. I wish y'all could smell it. It smells so good. Should I let it get a little browner? Or do y'all think that's pretty right there? Oh, I wish y'all could smell it. It smells delicious. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Does it look good, LSP? LSP, should I leave it right here where it's at? I think I should. 
I turned the oven off. Yes. 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 Look at it, y'all. Look. Can you hear it bubbling? Look. In that corner. All that goodness. <laughs> oh. She look good, y'all. Oh, way she look good. Raven said, I believe I can smell that all the way over here in Oklahoma. Girl, Raven, it smells so good. It smells so good. Oh, have you made the honey bun cake? No, I haven't. You know what? The honey bun cake. There I go with that TV again, y'all. The honey bun cake and the uh, banana, the banana, banana split cake. I don't know why I keep putting them off, and I've been intending to make them, and I just keep putting them off. Uh, D said, "You make a wonderful teacher and pastor." <laughs> I'm just speaking. What's in my heart, that's, I mean, what the Lord gives me is what I say. It's, it's what I say. Raven, uh, I read that. My daughter made the honey bun cake for her work. Oh, I bet it was good. Oh, I have a banana split pie, too. Angela, oh, man, that'll be good, too. That'll be good. Easter, too. So Easter. Jolena said, hey, LSP, I just saw you on YouTube earlier. How's your day? Oh, that's so sweet. TikTok. Oh, that's a TikTok recipe. Oh, y'all, it is kicking. It is smelling so good. It is smelling good. I mean, I'm going to see if I can disturb a corner so you can see down in that goodness. I don't want to mess it up. Oh, yeah. You, you see how she's smoking? Oh, I can push that back, y'all. Look at that. Are you looking at that? Look at that. Wait, mama, turn it around. Look at here. Can you smell it? Oh, them onions and cabbage is just hitting. Oh. Supposed to let it rest, y'all. If you like cabbage, and I love cabbage. It's hot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Let me get this recipe y'all again. Y'all need to try it. The The spice, the taste is perfect. Everything is perfect. The creams, the soup, and the mayonnaise and the cheese, the taste is perfection. And I ain't joking. We're going to have a long sit down and talk. I'm going to show y'all my sink. This mess I got over here. <laughs> but that's all right. 
I'll get her done. I, oh my God, my that is so good. That is so 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 good. Oh, y'all need to make that. Y'all need to make that for uh, Easter. You're, you you're gonna be a hit with your family if you make that for, for Easter. I'm so hungry. <laughs> B Rollette said, I'm so hungry and they're gonna make it. You gotta make it, and it doesn't take that long. I'm get your pen and pencil. Go go get it. Go get your pen and pencil. I'ma wait for you. Go get it. Get it now. Go get it. This is a must. Go get them pens and paper. Y'all need to try this. Here we go. Here we go. One small cabbage chopped. You can chop it up however you want to chop it. It ain't no certain way. Chop it. One onion, it says Valdea, but you can use any onion you want. If you have a Valdea onion, oh, that'll be good too. Uh, I, I used a white onion today, and it tastes just as good as that Valdea, but it's good. And you chop it up. One can of cream of chicken soup. Now, I'm going to tell you again, wipe off the top of them cans. Wipe off the top of any pop that you're going to drink, anything in a can. Wipe off the top because them rodents, those um, insects, people nasty hands, be on your cans. Clean the top of your can before you open it. Uh, one cup of mayonnaise. A half a stick of unsalted melted butter. And this is for the soup mixture. One stick, unsalted butter, melted for the topping. So you're going to need a half a stick of butter for the soup mixture, one stick of butter for the top. So that's a stick and a half of butter that you need. One cup of cheddar cheese shredded. One cup of cheese. One sleeve of Ritz crackers crushed. Make sure you spray your pan. That is a 9 by 13 baking pan I use. Spray your pan. Okay, let's go with the instruction on how to do it. Preheat oven to 350 degrees or 175 degrees Celsius. People have been asking and asking and asking me for me to put their seltzers in there. 175. There you go. Spray a baking pan with cooking spray to prevent sticking. Okay. Now, when you cut up that cabbage, you done sprayed your pan, you layer it in the bottom. Then you cut up that onion and you put it on top. Now, to make that uh, creamy mixture, that uh, you get your bowl, mix together the cream of chicken soup, the one cup of mayonnaise, that half a stick of melted butter. You combine that together. Then you put it over on top of the, the onion and the cabbage you make that's already in the pan. You put that on top of it evenly. Okay, getting ready to prepare the topping and another bowl. Combine the one stick of melted butter, I'm on the wrong recipe, y'all. I left it that quick. Your one sleeve of um. The Ritz crackers. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did I do? There it is. The one stick of melted butter, the, tr um, the cup of 
the cheese and um, the crackers. You mix it all together. Make sure the cracker is all mixed up, got all buttery. Then you pour that on top. Then you put it in your oven that is already preheated at 350 degrees and bake for 45 minutes. Set that timer for 45 minutes because that's what I cooked mine exactly was 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Then um, you let it sit for a little while. It says pre oven for 45 minutes and cooking the topping until the topping is golden brown. The casserole is bubbly, so you sing both with mine. Allow the casserole to cool, to cool slightly before serving. This dish is perfect on its own or as a hearty side to your main course. This dish, I give a 10. I give this dish a 10. Everybody needs to try this dish. Even the young ladies who say they can't cook, I can't cook, they can, they can make this. So, um, young ladies, y'all need to get in on this one. Y'all, we've been here for a while today, and I thank the Lord for it because I didn't get to, to come Tuesday because I had... Um, company and all is well god is good and like i told y'all at the beginning i slept last night i woke up at what 5 30 to go to bathroom went back to bed went to sleep didn't get up by 8 30 that's good for you girl and i feel good today i needed that rest i needed that rest it made a world of difference lord i can't wait to get y'all off of here so i can go get me some more Me some more. Woo wee. Okay. But right now, I'm going to speak, decree, and declare over your life and over my life. And you need to do this over your children's life. Anybody's life, not just your children, your husband, your wife, your niece, your nephew, your cousin, and them the whole clan, your neighbor, your church family, the school your, ch your, your children are going to, speak it, decree it, and declare it over them. That's what you got to do. Let's go. Let's get this. I am courageous. I am courageous. You are courageous. I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable. You may throw your dart, Satan, but you can't win. I am unstoppable. God said I was. I am victorious. I am loved. I am blessed. I am gifted. I am anointed. Hallelujah to God be the glory. I am successful. Oh, yes, I am. I am healed. I am healthy. I am beautiful. I am whole. I am confident. I am forgiven. Don't hold no grudges. Because the grudge, if you hold grudges, it hold your blessings back. Let it go. Be forgiven. Let that person walk in what they have done. But you set yourself free. You forgive. I am forgiven. I am grateful. I am generous. I am strong. I am favored. I am able. I am powerful. I am fruitful. I am God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece. Because our God does not make any junk. And you are all made in the image of God. Look at Genesis 1. It tells you, you are made in his image. I don't care what nobody have to say about you. 
I'm a child of the King. I'm a child of the Most High God. And I look like my daddy. <laughs> yes, I don't care what you say. You may think I'm ugly, but I am my father's child. And he said, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. And blessings don't always mean money. I have my health. I have my family. My mama's safe. My daddy's safe. My grandmama's still with me. My papa's doing fine. My auntie's doing well. My uncle is blessed. I am blessed and highly favored. I love y'all. You know I love you. You know I love you. I love you. Mm -mm. This girl love you and this girl is feeling herself today. <laughs> Now, I don't know what tomorrow brings, but God said, don't worry about tomorrow because he got tomorrow in his hand. But I know about today, and today your girl feels very good. Ain't that, this is a blessing because last Thursday I was a wreck. But this Thursday, look at God in one week. Look what our God has done. Nobody but Jesus. I can't say what the next second going to be like, but I know about what right now is like. I am blessed. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Because he arose, y'all. He arose with all power in his hand. He arose. He didn't stay in that grave. He got up with all power in his hand. So Easter is the only holiday that he said that we should... Um, would it commemorate or to remember or to, uh, uh, um, I can't think of my word, celebrate. It's Easter. He didn't say nothing about his birthday because December 25th is not his birthday. It's the day that we set aside for it. But he did say on Easter because he arose with all power in his hand. So everybody be blessed and prosperous and those who can and will. If the Lord is willing, I'll be recording uh, service on Sunday, Easter service. So come and join us at St. John Missionary Baptist Church in Alcoa, Tennessee, where the Dr. Charles Lomax Jr. is the pastor. Love you all. Everybody be safe. Bye-bye.